this lesson we're going to add some animated numbers so let's click on the add-on and click on animated now this animated numbers are great because you know it kind of automatically just roll based on what you have is set up here so right now we're just going to leave the default settings so you have duration and 36 and you can change the size the font size of it so if you want something bigger this says 36 you want to change the animation color you want to change the uh, the counter title so let's leave this one now at the default and just click on apply uh, we're going to create three or four different columns let's just create four columns here so we'll create four and we are going to add one for each column just so that way you see what it looks like you have two ways of doing that you can either click on add-on and you go to animated number and just choose a new one or you can click to clone and then just drag it over to the next section just drag and drop in there so let's click on save and let's preview this on the front end so that's the effect that the animated numbers have and if you wanted to change the wording you can definitely do that so let's edit this so let's say you want to change the colors a little bit or even the duration form so let's say you change the font size from 36 you want this to be 50 uh, the animated number you want this number to have a different color we're going to put this at that blue course is complete and the font title size we put this one at 25 and you want it to be on the right apply so you notice that changed automatically so let's do the same something else for this one here so we want this one to go from instead of 1000 to 5000 and duration 6,000 milliseconds. You want to change this from 36 to 65. I want to change this color to a greenish. And then we want to change the number to projects. The font size to 22. You want this one to go on the left and click on apply. And you notice that it takes a lot longer to get to the 8,000 because I extended the milliseconds uh, that needed. So this one was set at 1,000 much faster. This one was set at 5,000. So let's change this one here. And we're going to set this one at 500. And make this at 3,000. And I want to change the font size to 55 change this color okay let's click apply and you notice there the difference as well so you have you know you have control in terms of how you have control for the positioning you know the duration that it takes for the you know to complete uh, you can change the number you can change pretty much everything that you see here so let's come back on this side now you can also change when you put your mouse over this you can let's go over to the row settings the row settings affects everything that's in this particular row so if you want to put a title let me put a title the animated number and then I'm just gonna put in let's see uh, some subtitle stuff. So when you clip put in the title, you have several options. So you can have this as an H1 to H6 tag and put this as H1. Uh, for the font, the title size, you can put in a number that I'm gonna put this as 60 for the font weight, so you can add something, but I'm not gonna add anything there. And you have the same option here for the title and uh, the subtitle so where do you want this to be you want it to be on the left center or right so let's keep this on the center uh, you want this to have to uh, enable the columns equal height and you want the row to be fluid 
uh, with the fluid stuff that's based if you're trying to go for a certain look but I'm just gonna enable this just so that you can see what it looks like enable the gutter uh, we don't have any section out there for this one now for the style so this one is set at 50 pixels uh, the top right the bottom left so the top and the bottom are gonna have 50 pixels separation you can increase that more based on how much space you want you know above or below this particular one here and then for the background color you can choose a background color let's choose something like this and then for the overlay you know like uh, overlay helps you if you wanted to blend something in so let's let's just change this to you notice I'm moving the cursor up and down the overlay changes so I'll put that there and you can also add videos in your background uh, which I'm going to show you how to um, to do that later on so let's click on apply so now you have this so let's go ahead and change the colors So let's make this white apply and you can change this one to whatever so I'm just showing you here that you have a lot of flexibility and let you know right now the color for this one is, is really dark so what we want to do now is we want to be able to change this uh, so that the color for it is white so what we want to do is you want to change for the entire column instead of you having to change for each one you can click where it says text color we're going to set this to white and click apply so now all the text color for this so instead of you having to to go on each one and changing each one you can set the text color for these and it's going to automatically change everything to one so let's change this one here put it back in the center and now it's you know it's in the center so this you know looks you know clean neat this really great if you wanted to showcase let's say you want to let people know how many projects you've worked on or how many websites you've created how many clients you have this is a great way to use the animated number it just adds a little bit more style um, you can also add an image in the background you can also add a video in the background so let's go back here and see about adding an image in the background So you go over to the style, you can click, you can upload a new image, you can even add a video in the background. So let's just click on this image and let's click apply. So now you have an image on the background and everything looks good.